here we are <sighs> so in some spots I actually like took the weeds out and then in other spots I just <clears throat> how I was pushing that around with the rake I did that and I just left it because yeah it was just a matter of getting it out um, getting it out of the pulling the roots up this stuff down here that's all not celery that's all cilantro because um, I had a plant over here and they went to seed and I let it dry and I just kind of scattered it so I pulled some of it out but I left most of it and look at the girls I'll show you the other one they're doing so well I'm very excited about them but yeah that's cilantro right there all those little green things it's my mom's space right here we're just covering the ground um what was i gonna say there are some ants under this light right here so that's why it's a little messy around that because i don't want to spread them around I cut that oregano way back i have a bunch of coreopsis over here and last year I pulled a bunch of that up and just relocated it to the front border, but I'm not trying to do that this year. And I'm also not really trying to take care of it to give it to anybody either, so I just pulled it out. There's still a lot of cleanup left to do. Um, I don't think I ever brought the rake over here, but I got most of it done. The really big stuff. <clears throat> And I didn't do anything to this. I think I did that in the fall. <coughs> I think I cut it back like that in the fall. But I'm going to wait and let it grow some more. Like, it's got a few little green spots in it. See that back there? Right there. So, it's starting to flush out. So I'm just going to leave it for a while. But yeah, there'll be plenty more to do back here. Just not doing it today.
All right, let's look at the front. Um, I'm not gonna take you through all of the things that are in here, but I'll point out a few things. Um, okay, so I went ahead and cut back those big grasses, and a lot of what you see scattered is that. <laughs> um, I cleaned up, I mean, the main part of it as I was cutting it. I'm just gonna put it in a nice bunch and dropped it in, which you saw that, but the rest of this, it'll just blow around eventually. Uh, I wasn't gonna do too much <laughs> trying to pick that stuff up. Um, so I am trashing that back when I took some of it. Well, I just kind of cleaned a little bit of it up. Um, uh, this was in the fall. Um, I kept it because I was going to use it basically like straw or something like that. The problem is that grass, it's like, it's not smooth. It's like, it's almost like it'll kind of cut you or kind of like scratch you or something. I don't know how to explain it, but it wasn't going to work for that. So uh, that's why I'm not keeping it. It seemed usable, but it's, it's not going to work. So I'm going to toss that. But, okay, let me just tell you what's going on up here. Because that was the main thing I had to clean up was those. Um, like I said, I did move some of the Coryopsis up here last year. So, of course, it's trying to spread around a little bit. Some of these smaller grasses are spreading. Um, but I'm leaving them for now. You can see it better right here. So those little ones around that, I'm leaving that right now. And I did cut that one back. I didn't cut all of them. I don't know. Okay, first thing I want to say, y'all, this lemon thyme that I spread out over here, so I took like one plant and broke it into pieces, or it might have been two plants, I don't know, but I broke something into pieces and just kind of spread it, lined it up over here, and it smells so good, like it smells so good the whole time I was working in this area. Okay, and the other obvious thing, the hydrangeas, so I'll show them to you. I think it was when I was talking about how everything looked after that winter storm we had. And I was talking about those buds, those bigger buds on the ends, how they didn't look too great. And on this one, they still don't look great. So I don't know. I might end up cutting the tips off of those. But yeah, a lot of green growth at the base. And we got these, like I said, those tips, some of them look better than others and even if they don't look good they still have these you know little buds all along the stems so I'm not going to cut those any um unless like I said I might cut the tops off of these that look kind of bad I might end up cutting this one down so like maybe there but I'll give it some more time oh gosh I'm still playing I think my nose is trying to bleed y'all okay nose bleeds are a thing around here so, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, so I cleaned that up. Those three right there, I don't remember what those were, but they were something that I bought on clearance in the fall. Wasn't sure the best way to cut those back. Seemed like I probably should have left them tall, but I'd already cut the first one. And when I started kind of cutting into that second one, I was like, I really don't want to take the time to do this. So I just went ahead and cut it down. And, you know, we'll see what happens with it. I do have a question for you all. So I thought alyssum was supposed to be like perennial or something. I don't know, but I never really know what to do with it. Because it always just looks messy and dry out of season. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I don't know. I cut it back. And I saw this like that stuff right there. And then those right there. That's a list of them. I just I didn't know what to do with it for real. So I cut some of it off. Um these ground covers that are all through here. I don't really know what to do with those either. I think one of them was maybe supposed to be perennial. I think for the most part they were supposed to be annual. But I left them just to see what they do. And now I don't know what to do now. So <laughs> so I'm just leaving them. I will see what happens. Um those were supposed to be there. And, I think y'all, okay. The anemones. 
that I you know was supposed to be here last spring. Um, I feel like I've had one flower last spring. <laughs> but look, they're all they're coming up really well. Look at that. That's so pretty. Check out the little flower. It hasn't completely opened. And then of course all the hyacinths are coming up. Look at that. Coming up. I passed a bunch of them. I mean you can see them in the background. And then I did tell you this one ground cover has some little purple flowers that I didn't know it was going to have. I'm going to get the light to do right. So you can see that it's purple. Anyway, that's all good. Um, but yeah, that's it on that. I think there's some strawberries up here. I didn't do anything with them. I don't know if I cleaned those up in the fall or if they just didn't do as bad. Um, didn't get as bad as the ones in the back. But I didn't do anything to them, so yeah. Pause for the truck. Okay. So yeah, I think that's it. Like I said, the ground covers. I'm leaving those right now. I don't really know what to do with, with them. I guess we'll just see how they look later. <laughs> and do something about them at that point. And I think that is it for up here. At least for now. I do need to edge. Um, I need to edge in the back as well. I thought about doing that today. But I haven't done it. And I don't think I'm going to. But yeah, this bed does a lot better, um, partially because it's not full sun like the one in the back. So I don't have as much as far as weeds popping up because the back is just more conducive for that. Um, to that, more to. But yeah, this is a better spot for the weeds in the back, in the back border than it is up here. So they don't do too bad. Now I will have stuff trying to crawl in on the edges and I didn't clean up much of that today but yeah moms my mom's over there I'm um, trying to think if there's anything else specific that I should point out to you guys I don't think so that's mostly it um, I don't think I had one of these over here in the front because the ones I brought up here were like really tall so I'm yeah I'm sure I didn't have that in the front so that's just spreading it um, all right that's it for cleanup today